Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I'm Susan McCord, also known as Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, do you know what you want in a relationship? Are you clear about what you want? This seems like a very basic question, but there's a lot of loaded conversation that goes with this. And the reason for that is so many people will tell me they know what they don't want, but they're not clear on what they do want. They don't actually put that out there first and foremost. They're telling me all the things that they don't want in a relationship. Well, I don't know about you, but I try to put out more of a positive outlook first as opposed to the negative side. I know it's good to know what you don't want as well, but if that's what you're putting out there all the time, that's kind of what you're getting back because you're focusing on what you don't want. And I know there's so many things out there right now with this law of attraction and thoughts become things and all that, but it really does work. And even if you don't believe in it and you're having troubles finding somebody to be in a relationship with, it might be time to sort of give it a shot here. Because if you are thinking about things that haven't worked for you, and that's sort of in the forefront of your mind, you're constantly thinking about that. And so what happens is when you meet somebody or you're out, say you're out with a group of friends and you're looking around and you go, oh yeah, well, that'll just happen to me this time again, like it did last time. So you're putting out those thoughts that are sort of a repetitive pattern from your past. And the trouble with this is you're not moving forward. You're staying stuck in a place that isn't working for you. So this is really the time right now. If you're serious about being in a relationship, it is time to sort of sit down and think about what it is you clearly want in a partner. What's important to you? What five things would be on the top of your list that you would want in somebody that you're going to fall in love with. Once you know what it is that's important to you, you can start to visualize that a little bit more. You can go out and and sort of see if these traits are in people you're talking to. If they're not, that's okay. You don't have to date everybody that you meet, but be open to it. If you're thinking about what you don't want, you're not open, you're shut down. And that's the problem with so many people. They don't get it. It's such a simple thing, but they don't understand that they are putting out a repetitive negative thought. And unfortunately, that's what you get back because you basically inside, you've got this thing that says, I'm never going to meet somebody. It's not going to happen. Um, they're all the same. I'm not going to have this, uh, this love filled partnership that I truly want because of something that maybe happened to you before. You gotta lose that dialogue, seriously lose it. Everybody you meet is different. Every situation that you have with somebody, with a partner is different. If you're repeating the same thing over and over again, well, that's another thing to look at because that's not working. Otherwise, you'd be, you wouldn't be keep going from one to the next to the next. You'd have a different scenario each time because you're learning. You're moving up the ladder, so to speak. You're evolving. You're learning from what didn't work and finding things from that relationship that were good and you're taking them into the next relationship, but there's more substance coming because you now know what it is that you want. So the fact that you came to this video today shows me that you are thinking about being in a committed relationship and you're trying to figure out why it's not happening for you. So it's time to focus. It's time to look back at your past relationships, what worked it, what didn't work, and what is super important to you now. Because we all change with what we want over the years. Some things that were important to us when we were 20, maybe aren't as important to us now when we're 30 or, or we're 40. You want to have a clear picture of what is super important to you that is sort of a make or break situation to be in to be within your partnership. Something that's really important for you that's going to make everything flow throughout the years together. It's super important that you have compatibility with your partner. It's not just about having a lustful attraction. You've got to have all the bells and whistles to go because otherwise you're going to repeat a pattern of what hasn't worked. 
You know, a lot of people spend so much time with Mr. and Mrs. right now and they figure, well, it's better to be in this kind of a relationship than in something that I really want to be in because I can't find it. So I'll settle for this. And so many people are doing that, especially right now with the world being as it is. But don't do that because you, you want to be with somebody that you value, that brings you joy, that you have a really strong bond with. Not somebody that you just like and it's just sort of a settling uh, relationship. You deserve to have a really full partnership with somebody and so do they. So when we end up with Mr. and Mrs. right now, we shortchange ourselves, we shortchange them because maybe they feel differently and think you are more involved with them than they know. So this is something that it's really important to try to figure out so that you don't spend so much time becoming a little bit more jaded each time something doesn't work out or getting angry or, or grieving over the same thing all the time and then starting to feel like, you know, is there any hope? And take on a re you know that feeling of being rejected and hurt look at who you're allowing in that is the first most important thing that you can do once you see what you're doing and see if there's a if there's a pattern maybe there isn't maybe you're going from one situation to a completely different situation and that's okay as long as you're clear about what it is you're looking for that is the key to finding your person, your partner you want to spend your life with, is understanding what's important to you and if it blends together as a couple. I hope that gets you thinking about things. Thanks for coming to visit me here at Cyber Sue. And please leave any comments or any questions you have. Please subscribe to my channel. I love hearing from all of you and thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks.